Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a backup and restore data from your backup. In the event that you need to recover files, you have the ability to restore data from Windows backup. The following explains how to create a backup and restore data from your backup. Setting up your backup. To set your backup, you will need an external drive to store the backup. Connect it to your computer and follow these steps. Click the start button. Click settings. Click update and security. Click backup. Click add a drive. The select a drive window will open to display all available drives. Click the drive you want to use. After selecting the destination drive, Windows 10 will set automatically backup my drives to the on status. If you want to configure the backup options, click more options. The backup options window opens displaying the folders included in the backup as well as drop down menus and buttons to modify settings for your backup. Click backup now to begin an immediate backup of your folders. Click the drop down menu in the backup my files lists to select how often to backup your files. Click the drop down menu in the keep my backup lists to select how long to retain backups. Click the add a folder button to add a folder to the list. Click the add a folder button below the exclude this folder option to exclude folder from the list. Click stop using drive to unselect the drive currently used for backup. Now, I will click backup button to start the backup of selected files and folders. A status of backing up your data will appear. A backup is now being created. Now that our files and folders are back up properly, we'll try to do the recovery. In the search bar, type restore. From the resulting menu options, select restore your files with file history. But before resuming, I will try to delete some files on my document folder. I will delete in the recycle bin as well. Now, Let's go back to the recovery and select the files or folder we need to restore. In my case, I want to restore document folder. Then click the restore button to resume the folder restoration. Then, click the replace the files in the destination to continue. Now, restoration is done. And to confirm it, let's check the file which we deleted a while ago. And boom, it's there. We just made it. Recover from a system restore point takes your computer back to an earlier point in time, called a system restore point. Windows automatically saves restore points when installing a new application, driver, or Windows update, but you can also create a restore point manually. Restoring will not remove your personal files, but it will remove applications, drivers, and updates installed after the restore point was made. The following explains how to create a system restore point manually and restore from a system restore point. In the search bar, type restore. From the resulting menu options, select create a restore point. The system properties window will open to the system protection tab. Click configure. Click to enable turn on system protection. It is enabled already by default so just leave it. Use the max usage slider to determine how much of your hard drive to use to store restore points, then click OK. Then click Create. The Create Restore Point description box appears. Type in a description to help identify the restore point and click the Create button. A restore point is now being created. These takes time. Now the restore point has been created successfully. Click close. Now we've just done creating our restore point, let's try to recover from our system restore point. In the search bar, type recovery, or restore. From the resulting menu options, click create a restore point to open system properties. The system properties window will open to the system protection tab. Click system restore. The system restore window appears. 
click on choose a different restore point then click next to show the lists of restore points available. Click the date you want to use for your restore point. Click next to proceed. The confirm your restore point window appears. Click finish to begin the restore process. Take a note that system restore needs to restart your computer to apply the changes. So make sure to save any open file before resuming. After pressing finish, the system will display a message once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Press the yes button to proceed. Now the system restore is preparing. The system will reboot and it will restore windows files and settings. These take time so be patient. The following slides shows the system initialization screenshot. Now system restore is done. This covers how to create a backup and restore data from your backup. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.